All right, 637 this morning. Doors open for the second and last day of the ABC7 Great Chicago Blood Drive, and that's happening, no, about 20, 25 minutes or so. Yeah, 10th year for us doing this, helping to save lives. And Val Warner is out at 95th and Cottage with more. Hello, Val. Hey guys, yes, 10th year, second day of the Great Chicago Blood Drive. I'm excited. This is my very first year, and I'm here on the south side of Chicago. If you want to come out here and be a walk-in when the doors open at 7 a.m., just put in your GPS, 901 East 95th Street. It's Imani Village. It's right next to Advocate Center, so you may get a little confused right off the corner of 95th and Cottage Grove. Look, the crews, the volunteers, they're here. They're setting up. The beds are up. They're having their final meetings and going through notes yesterday let me tell you guys we collected 1352 units of blood that is 57 percent of the goal so hopefully today with your help and your generosity we're going to surpass our goal and let me tell you a couple of abc7 retired photographers have really donated lots of time and efforts to the red cross here's their story so I'm just walking around talking to people and making sure everybody is okay and thanking them for coming. I can't donate blood myself because of medication I take, so I volunteer in other ways for the Red Cross and uh, like Minuch, drive, drive blood to hospitals as a regular part of my week. From the moment they walk in, people trying to make, put them at, at ease. I see them on their registration desk and they're kind of tense and they're first time there. We talk to them you know, joke with them, and then they take your hand step by step through the process, so, so you're never alone. You you are never alone. You heard that right. There's such a wonderful team and a wonderful energy here, and you are helping to save a life. And the reason why we're here out on the south side today, and we have locations all across the Chicagoland area, but it is so important to encourage African Americans to donate. And I just have one of my good girlfriends coming here real quick, Yvonne. Don't kill me, Tyrone. The control room. So good to see you. Yvonne lost her son Jay in an accident, and now she has dedicated his memory and his legacy to the Red Cross and doing blood drives. Just say something real quick, Yvonne. Not only do I love you, only you could get me here at 6 in the morning, but um, I thought that this would be a great time for us to show up and show out like only we can. We're going to show them that we do come and we do donate and our blood matters. That's right. You hear that. And when she says we, you know what we mean. We need diverse donors. We need all donors. But let's be real. We need diverse donors so that they can go to folks who are dealing with sickle cell disease. So we're going to send it back to you guys. And uh, yeah, we are just a few minutes away from everything getting started here. Yeah, about 20 minutes from now and a great message too. Um, all right. Appreciate it, Val. Thank you. So there are four locations open today, uh, 7 in the morning until 7 o'clock tonight. Walk-ins are welcome. And you can also donate at the Parks and Recreation Fieldhouse in Highland, Indiana, Foglia YMCA in Lake Zurich, and the Tinley Park Convention Center. If you donate today or any time this month, you could win a trip to this year's Super Bowl in Las Vegas. The American Red Cross is partnering with the NFL for the fifth straight year during National Blood Donor Month. All right.